Well, this is better a starting team. Not so good that it's dwarves, but good that it's a starting team. And 280 TV up instead of 280 TV down. Still liable to lose six players in three turns, though, so... <laughs> That's the bad thing about vampires, isn't it? They're, they're fucking... I mean, they're, they're the worst team for me. They're the worst team for me, because they're dicey as fuck, and I, I don't like... I don't like things being dicey. Get fucked, you little cunt! I like... <laughs> fuck off! I like reliable things happening. I like... Reliable stuff, not unreliable stuff. Gringos, battery acid. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's got he's got three AV8 to punch, and yeah, it's a starting team. Picked a wrong game for that. Yeah, that's true, Bablo. But you know. There's levels, isn't there? There's levels of reliability. Certainly vampires are the most unreliable, <laughs> aren't they? Vampires are literally the most unreliable team in Blood Bowl. Have to be, because they can cast their own players. Like, yeah, it sucks when you, when you fail boneheads with ogres and stuff, and ogres are really bad to start with. Oh no, Zara can stab Thrall's well. Oh, fuck. Fuck. It's a good shout, that in it, Zara. Got blodges. He hasn't got. Okay, he has got tackle. He's got seven tackle, eight tackle, seven tackle, six tackle. <laughs> okay, I'll learn how to count eventually. Six tackle. Yeah, no tackle fucks me again. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm absolutely just getting. Fucking mullered by not taking tackle. One bad decision. At least I know now anyway, isn't it? Tackle first after bludge. Not not pro. <laughs> At least I learnt my re lesson. Hello. She can stab your thralls, yeah. Indeed she can. She can because it's just versus the teams that she gets the plus one. I'd go tackle on the first one. <laughs> I'd rather go tackle on the first one and then pro first on the rest. You just face so little tackle, don't you? with other teams the thing is uh, there is a game actually ret 76 at 9 p.m. UTC uh, seven hours time hello backyard it's the second game I uh, conceded on about turn four with no team left <laughs> last game seven guys out on turn four so I just conceded uh, that's a good question 17, 19, no. He's closest to getting tackle. <laughs> Probably. So. No, miles and miles and miles away from tackle. I thought pro's like a shitty tackle. But, so, I mean, pro is good. Pro is really good, to be fair. Pro is like, been amazing. But, um, oh, it's Flings, is it? I didn't know what game it was. Oh, yeah, it's Elliot. Elliot versus Dion Lord. Elliot versus Dio. Uh, yeah, Flings. 9 and all Flings. Imagine if they win every game. Who's, what's Dio got? No, oh, I can't take Wrestle, no. No, Wrestle Development, no. No. Yeah, pro is caveman's tackle. Yeah, absolutely. Pro, pro is Brexit tackle. <laughs> pro, pro is Brexit tackle. 
<laughs> and it's got my vote of no confidence when bringing down a ball carrier. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, Ducky. Yeah, yeah maybe I should have gone. Um, both my both my wrestles were t held up last game. Maybe I should have just gone to try and. But I just have no fucking players now. No Zara ball, no, that's lucky, isn't it? Doesn't give it on a strength 4 blodger, gives it to a strength 3 defenseless player. Good shot. Yeah, a little surprise. I mean, it's not that surprise, because dwarves are still bad asses, aren't they? But, you know, if if Spartaco had rolled, not Spartaco, Cyber Knight had rolled a diff 2 plus, it might have been a lot different. <laughs> Brilliant hippie. <laughs> oh I mean, the pro has been outstanding. It's just, it's just, I guess it's just unlucky to have played the games. I guess I shouldn't have got my TV up so high. I should have controlled the TV till I got tackled. I guess is the uh, is the lesson learned because the pro is really fucking good. Well, but they were absolutely rock hard today. Rock hard for goals. And so was my cock. Gaze him in a four plus. Gaze her in a five plus. Then move him out, move in and whack the ball. Easy. No, I don't think I'll go for the, the hit this turn. He just punch him. Ball batters. Oh, I would have had wrestle protected, but can't change now. Now he's going to get further forward, isn't he? Like, Vamps are slow. <laughs> Try to speak English. Vampires are so slow that they've got to be pretty close before they try and attack the cage, haven't they? There is no SFX thing. There's loads. There's, oh, God, I need to do that. I'll do that. During, during the match tonight, I'll sort out Jimmy F-Bot. Think of a name for fucking Jimmy F. Bot somebody, please. All right, I'll write down the names this time. I asked people and I thought some were all right and didn't write anything down. I'm gonna write them down now. I'll write down what I need to do for the bot as well. Oh, you glorious jumpy Jim. Bullshit. You can be mine. Good old jumpy Jim, you can be my wingman anytime. Thank you very much for the host. Glorious. How was your day playing Blood Bowl? Mine is shit so far. Absolute shit. <laughs> Why Shazbot? I'd love to have Sextus Bot. Sextus Bots. But I can't, can I? Because it won't. Jim Bot is taken, yes. Yes, Jim Bot is, of course, taken. I would have had Jim Bot. That would have been really good. <laughs> Bot 74. Dode Bot 74. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Dode Bot 74. Tempted. Tempted. Tempted by Dode Bot 74. Fantasy Bot will probably... Best Bot for God can't have because it's got fagging. 
And while fag in, in England means a cigarette, it also means something else, doesn't it? So they, they don't like that. They don't like having that in. Um, how do I tag him? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That seems excessive to tag him. And I couldn't, I couldn't gaze both of those anyway. Oh, let me get these guys up. It's nice of him. Right, blocker. Block him. Blitz him. Can only reach there. Bunch of shit. Looking pretty, pretty crappy. Claw pot, claw bot, or claw pom bot? That could be. That could be good, couldn't it? Two heads bot. Yeah, there's extra arms bot, so I could have two heads bot. That's a good idea. I like that. I like two heads bot. I like that. Yeah, it is just what people do, yeah. It is just what people do, that's true BZL, but it is what people do, isn't it? Glorious bot! Ah, oh, yeah, that could be good, couldn't it? That might be taken. Noz, need Noz now, bot. <laughs> Toe, oh yeah, there was someone, someone, missing toes, bot, that was... <laughs> Extra arms bot and missing toes bot. <laughs> yeah, two heads bot could be good though. I think I'm liking two heads bot. Yes, Lil Baz, yeah. It was down seven players on turn four. And I just thought, ugh. Yeah, missing toes bot is pretty good. Eat a dick bot, yeah, also not allowed. <laughs> All man's bot. Oh man's LOS bot. <laughs> yeah, two heads bot's good, isn't it? I like I like because we all know that we <laughs> know turns eleven man's bot. <laughs> I like I like two heads because then then BZL's got the shit one. <laughs> no offense, but extra arms is shit. And I can have the good one, two heads. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna surf my guy! Oh no, it's not far enough. But still, I, th I thought he might do that. I thought he might go for the frenzy hit. Rock hard, bud. <laughs> well, I like, I like missing two toes, but a two heads, but I like Dord bot seventy four. That's pretty good. Concede, but yeah, yeah, concede. Up to. It could just be like Jim Shard, Jim Shard. Mighty bot, yeah. Mighty bot probably taken. Just quietly. Me a Khalifa. <laughs> I play on X bot. <laughs> oh yeah, hello, hello. I play on Xbox. 
Uh, this isn't as bad as the last one, Jumpy Jim. The last one I was 260 TV down. This time I'm 280 TV up. Um, but he's actually doing all right, isn't he? Got a plan. Bear with me. Shouldn't have followed. Fucked it. Fuck the plan. Say goodbye to the plan. Anyway, the plan was block him. Oh no, I couldn't have done the plan anyway. The plan the plan was a shit plan. Abandoned plan. Shite plan. There's a blitz to be had somewhere, isn't there? It's probably on Zara, since she's a pain in the asshole. And if I power, she's uh, armor seven. There you go. Dodge away from that guy because he don't got tackle. Jump up though. Could gaze somebody, could try and gaze him, doesn't achieve a lot. Don't want to be out of position for like where he goes. Got three vamps. Can he try to push down here? Not really, not very well. You could go in there though. And then leave that one. Because if he switches over here, I'd rather have a vamp there than there. Yeah, yeah, okay, he can just go in there. No chance of a bloodlust then. Blitz wrong guy. BLGF, yeah, yeah, BLGF. Give away a block, get cast. Oh no, not cast, just removed. Yeah, maybe this could have gone up there. I didn't think about that. Jump out. Base block. Give up a, give up a block. Yeah, maybe I just shouldn't have followed. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have followed. Hey, there you go. He does a 1D. He does a 1D, so this has gone all right now. No re-rolls. No re-rolls. Come on. Fuck something up. Small. Sorry, Xavier. Let me have my dream. Turn bot. <laughs> Good beast bot. <laughs> Can't have that. End the turn for fuck's sake! End the fucking turn, man! I mean, did qu survive quite well, really, from this. From all these blocks. In this turn. Blood Bowl Botman. That's, that's not bad, is it? Marbles Bot. Oh, yeah. 
Right. Now there's a chance if I had any fucking vampires. Okay, and get a 1D on the ball, can't I? 1D on the ball. If I roll any pals. No pals rolled. Forget, forget 1D on the ball. working out good breaking the armor seven there <laughs> breaking the imaginary armor seven that I invented I'd like to base those two guys, but I don't want him to just jump up and fucking surf me. Fuck it. He can surf if he wants, but hopefully, if he surfs, he's gonna get, he's gonna lose the ball. That's the plan. There's two. There's two defensive assists. So you'd have to put. You'd have to cancel one and get a third. Oh, he's, he's doing it though. Oh no, he doesn't even hit from there. Oh, that's better. Uh, so this, this. Oh, this is better. Oh no, he didn't. Oh, it wasn't. It. <laughs> that was better than what I thought of. <laughs> Oop, forgot. But hopefully this exposes the ball anyway, doesn't it? Hopefully this going for this. This is four players' commitment for a surf. Hopefully it loses him the game. Oh yeah, surf, but... Subscriber bot. Oh wow, and he's choose to do it into a 1D. Very greedily, but, well, not greedy in a way, but also in another way, if it works, he's got something going for him. Yeah, I don't know if I hate that or not. Yeah, just rely on Dawn's. Yeah. Oh, and then fouls as well, wow. Right, this this should this should lose in the game though, shouldn't it? <laughs> Hopefully. I've got him not followed, so I can push him around. And he can punch from the back. That seems alright, doesn't it? What's this guy doing? I don't really have a good recovery. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the bad thing, I guess. Not, not a good recovery. Could gaze him and then hit with wrestle, but don't need wrestle, do I? I guess I could tag. Where, did, where could he go? Hmm. He could. I don't want to tag Zara with. Zara's tagged with a throw, which is good, isn't it? 
I think I want to roll more dice afterwards. I can't get a thrall around in case of a bloodlust. Unless I go and gaze him, go there and gaze him, then get the thrall through one, two, three, four, five, six. That could be all right, couldn't it? But it means I'm getting jump up start. So not that good. But now it means the bloodlust is no problem. Screen over there now, that's alright, isn't it? Can't reach the ball. You could, but I don't want to. <laughs> gaze dwarf run throughout the ball. No, because it's a four plus gaze. And then it's all right, but I think I'd rather, you know, I'd rather just run up to it. But then I don't use a reroll. I really don't use a reroll this turn. So I think just go here. Don't use a reroll. I've got three left for three turns. I guess I should have done. I should have used a reroll, shouldn't I? I didn't. I didn't think it was. I didn't realize it was my turn five. To be honest, I thought it was my turn four. Yeah. Fucking jump up, stout. Once, uh, once she was based with bit by one vampire, then it didn't really matter if all the others were based. Did he? Did he? He's done well, hasn't he, to uh, to fucking clear the tackle zones again? Maybe I should have double GF. I definitely should have done. If I'd realised the turn, I'd think I would have double GF'd. Looking shit, isn't it? The uh, the vamps are all trapped. He's he's off to one side. These two are bracketed. Yeah, the stab was incredible. And the one dice. But I I should have made those GFIs. Simple as that. Simple as that. It was quite good getting the vamp to there, but I don't know. He should have gone here and gone for the gaze. Or he should have GFI'd to get to there, I think. Wish he'd fucking do something. Uh, she's like two fifty or something. She's very good when she gets plus one on her stabs. <laughs>
that he was relying on Dauntless to make a 2D. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? But he got away with it. Good for him. He's not going for a pass, is he? He is going for a pass. I guess there's only two turns to score, but he's in range. He's in range of scoring in two turns. Can't! <laughs> Instead does that. Interesting. Interesting. Shawnee flashlights. Go fuck yourself. At least that frees up him. This vampire can go somewhere. One, two, three, four, five. Again, ah! Again, can't pick up the ball for fuck's sake. I could go all that way to try and pick up the ball. Oh, nice pal. Could just go for the three plus pickup. style is it much better to just fail a fucking dodge Only got one scoring threat, so I guess getting another one would be all right. Could go for the four plus, three plus, two plus, double GFI gaze pickup. But then there's, there's then there's literally only like no scoring threats. I guess I should have gone there and had another scoring threat. Side. Yeah, I'm just trying to not lose. I'm trying to not score. I'm trying to stop the score rather than anything else at this point. But I probably should have uh, got another scoring threat with three guys there. It's more likely to have him stood up as well to act next turn. There is a B, It's just it's it's just for subs. Random boy. I didn't know you played that much maps. Again, it's only subs. Rookie legend. <laughs> At least he can't. I mean, he can't. He can't clear the tackle zones this turn, can he? So I guess I should have just fucking ran around. Done a safer dodge out, base that guy on the ground, or something, I don't know. Ah, fuck it. Not playing well today. It's not, I'm, I'm the least sellout of everybody, random boy. But, um.
it's just oh yeah positive there's a uh, positivity bot is in the channel sometimes so i guess i can't have positive bot or positive positivity bot mr nice bot but he goes for the scatter will he get lucky well he's got an av break Hasn't cleared it. It's wrong, though. It's wrong, random boy. <laughs> your opinion can be wrong if it's your opinion that the world is flat. <laughs> Glorious. Glorious. Shit. Chobot would be good. Thank you very much, Commander Slacker, for the Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Glorious. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, God, look at this load of shit. No balls, but that's good. These All these fucking rolls. Hey! Ah, oh, that would have been really deserved, wouldn't it? To do all that, then just randomly throw a 1 DB. Commit the GFIs. Make the GFI. Go on. Make the fucking GFI. Alright, so, got a scoring threat. Can only make this a one dicer though. And can't get a gears to help. Realistically. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh, so no. <laughs> No, Tony. <laughs> Forcing him to score on turn eight, not so good, is it? I'm like 55% are getting down, aren't I? Then he could have gone in the crowd. Could have powered him there and the ball could have gone in the crowd and something could have happened. Whole team on the ground wasn't a very good spot, was it? I fucked up, no doubt. No doubt I fucked up, I should have. Should have not just fucking gone for that faultless dodge in there. I should have gone for the GFIs early on turn six. Turn five, sorry, I should have gone for those GFIs. Pretty shit, ended up half with two rerolls and didn't have the balls to go for those GFIs early. Or I should have played safer and put him somewhere else. Did I add fail? This is down to 10 men now. 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. yeah, fail isn't added yet. I don't have a one, one turn chance because I've only got 10 men. Well, I could try for a touchback. I can try for the touchback.
didn't use it already. I should have I gone for those. I should have made those GFIs. Should have tried those GFIs on the big turn. Right. Egan Blitz. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know who picks it up. I don't even know who makes the fucking blocks. To tell you the truth. Three dice, do I? I don't even think I get three dice, anyways. It doesn't even matter where the vampires are. Let's put him there. That was about as good as it gets. Oh, that was a one dice. Oh, well. forward one. Is that right? <laughs> Is this right? <laughs> I feel like it's all gone wrong somewhere. I can't get any more assists, so I feel like I did I did something wrong there. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna have to work it out what to do. Aren't I?
Yeah, I need to work it out myself to do it sometime. That that can be a video that I do. How to do movement a movement six one turn with ten players. <laughs> oh dear. Oh wow, fat, fat, fat. Brilliant. I wonder if it's stood man. Fail double fail on the uh, guy, so I've still got ten players, brilliant. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh no. <laughs> That's brilliant. What a shit day this is today, <laughs> two losses. I mean, I might not lose this, but I'm going to lose it. I know I'm going to lose it. Don't even, don't even feel bad today either. Can't. Just, just not playing well and not rolling well. Bad combination, isn't it? Fuck off. <laughs> yes. Very good commander stack, yes. <laughs> oh god, seven five three's an alright record though. <laughs> <sighs> fucking hell. Oh I wish I'd fucking gone for those geophiles. I I love the grammar police. Especially if it's spelled correctly, Leo <laughs> There you go. Slackers on the case. <laughs> right, let's see. You know, what do I even do? Like, what do I even do, really? I, yeah, I shouldn't have said that, should I, Will King? I shouldn't have fucking said that. That was a stupid thing to fucking say. <laughs> Correctly or incorrectly. Yes. Yeah, I'm so I'm gonna try and do it for sure. But without being mean to him. <laughs> These little fuckers, then it's the then it's the players, not the coach. Oh, that's what I that's what I really needed, wasn't it? Was a perfect <laughs> development Fashbinder is I nearly didn't put the vamp on the line as well in case of perfect defense but then I thought no guts no glory means I'm gonna punch the fuck out of him and then maybe scoring three. Which is good, isn't it? In a way. I ain't can go here in case of a bloodlust. Pushing the wrong square back. Doesn't matter, get a KO. Boom. <laughs> well, yeah, I can pick up and bite that throttle now, I guess. That's alright. Oh. 
Do I want to make all these one in nines before picking up the ball? No, not really. No, no, I've got to make the second one. Though. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. And I can bite him. Pretty much fuck all to them. I got a KO. You could be wrong, school. Next turn could be a concession. <laughs> Maybe he got scared by the punches. Yeah, I'm not conceding this one. I was just saying it. Just saying it is in if it was in chance to get his orbs up. <laughs> Oh, he's committed. He's committed. He's fucking committed, lads, boys, lads. He's committed. Do I go for a four plus gears with pro? Or get my guys in the way for a three plus gears? Now I'm tempted to go for the four plus gears with pro. Hmm, that's changed things a little bit. I've got to go for it, haven't I? No guts, no glory. It's just shit having to move somebody out of the way. Gears him, blitz him, run off, pass it to him, cage, screen, whatever the fuck. Um, the shit thing is just, no, I guess this guy, it's not even there. I can gaze him and blitz him. But then it would be dodges through tackle. Just go left. I can't because Zara's there. And I, if it does, it's another turn, isn't it? Oh well, that's me fucked. <laughs> Fucking forget it. Mm. <sighs> oh, fuck off. Mm. 
This is getting worse by the second. This. <laughs> Sorry, Azungo. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. You can have a screen, kind of. Two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Well, some two pluses is, is the plan. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two GFIs required. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> well done, Jim. Now you can surf me anyway with the troll slayer. Oh, I forgot I'm just too fucked. Yeah, that's true, actually, or not, James. Yeah, Messi would be the best at Blood Bowl because Barcelona would, uh, would genetically en engineer him, give him, like, brain brain growth or uh, lucky dice. One of the two. So there you go. Yeah, Ronaldo. Ronaldo probably does work, work harder, doesn't he? It's not like Messi doesn't work hard, though, is it? She's out of range though, isn't she? Yeah, she's out of range. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, unless this is a bug. Is this a fucking bug? Am I gonna lose because of a bug? Fuck off! Well, fuck off. Fuck right off. What an absolute load of shit. What an absolute load of shit. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. No, it's not the correct ruling for stab. No. No, it's not. It does cost movement. It does, because it's made instead fucking of making a block. Cunting. Cunt of a fucking shithead. It's made instead fucking of making cunt. a block. Cunt. Fucking cunt. Cunt. Cunt fucking beast. Fuck's sake.
Fucking brilliant, eh? Wow. Wow! I wonder if he knew or if he was just fucking lucky. It's instead of making a block, so it does require a move. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly what bug. It's made instead of a block. I mean, to be fair, I didn't, I didn't measure it. I didn't measure it, I'm just frustrated that he got fucking lucky. Because <laughs> he shouldn't, he went for a really dumb play. That because of a bug worked. So that's like, that's proper annoying. That's proper annoying as fuck. <laughs> but. It's not like I knew. It's not like I knew. I would have been a lot more disappointed if I knew I was out of range of Zara, but I didn't even know I was out of range. So she could have been in normal range anyway, and I wouldn't have known. In count the squares. That was not that disappointing. But it is disappointing that he made completely the wrong play. <laughs> and got rewarded. There's a bug in my Blood Bowl too? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the bug. What does this guy know that I'm not after the thing? If he knew it, I wouldn't feel as bad. He could have known. He could have known it was bugged, but. Or he could have not known the real rules. Like, that Artemis is simply apparently. not true. <laughs> the data does not support your assertion. But.
It's still BS for your opponent to win and not him not know. I'm I, I don't think he knew about the bug. It's more that he didn't know the rules and got rewarded with a bug for not knowing the rules. Which is disappointing, isn't it? Do it that way so I can play him. I like that. It's instead of making a block. So it's about as clear as you can fucking be. You can hit with tackle. The double GFI. Got pro. Super Fago. Yeah, exactly, Scumbag Street. Exactly. So it is clear. It's as clear as clear as clear can be, isn't it? This player may attack an opponent with their stabbing attack instead of throwing a block at them, lowercase b, so you can use it on blitzes. That's it. <laughs> no Artemis. You gotta play you gotta play a move. You can't argue at all that you don't have to pay a move. But it's okay that you that you didn't know the rules. And it's okay that he didn't know the rules. But it's frustrating that he didn't fucking know the rules and got rewarded for it. Or he, he knew the bug and got rewarded for it. Either way, it's disappointing, isn't it? But it's not that bad. It's not that bad because I should have counted the squares and known that I was, I was eight away from her. Edge four dodge go roll movement. No, I take movement. Movement edge is perfect. I don't mean. Movement edge is perfect. I'm not new to the game, but I wouldn't have thought of doing that play. I would have been, oh shit, I'm out of range. Good afternoon, man. No, in tabletop you move dog. What you can't do in tabletop is move an ogre, move him a square, and then see if he boneheads, and then throw a goblin with him after that. But I mean, I think that's okay, because that's like, you know, that's a slight buff to throwing things is all right. No, I mean, if, I, if I'd count the squares, I, I could have put them on the sideline, I guess. It would have been really... Fr it would, I mean, it would have been way more frustrating if I'd counted the squares. 
Do you know what I mean? If I'd counted the squares and decided that I had done the right play, then, you know, as it was, I didn't count, so it doesn't really matter, does it? It's just a little bit annoying. Yes, we are outside the window, things being fixed, that's true. But maybe, maybe he knew the bug. No, no, actually, he, he had to select the blitz with it, he just got a free point of movement, and in addition to his normal ones. So, like, he managed to move nine squares and stab with it. <laughs> but he still used the blitz. And it's, it's only an issue when it when it's saving GFIs, isn't it? So it, it's very rarely going to be an issue. But if I had counted the squares before I placed, like, you know, if I thought of Zara, I didn't even think of Zara like running through and stabbing. You know, to be fair, to be fair, I didn't think of Zara running through and stabbing me. And if I'd thought of it, I would have put him there <laughs> because she couldn't have done it, <laughs> and I'd have been very, 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 very pissed off then. But as it is, I, it's not like African played well to avoid the stab. I just looked into avoiding it, and then he looked into the bug, or he knew the bug, and exploited it. But either way, it's a little, it's only a little bit annoying, because I was a little bit stupid. Yeah, movement 12, a uh, movement 12 stab for Skitter, yeah. No, I'll sleep it safe, but if you've got Frenzy and Stab, you can choose which one to use. So you can make the first block, and then if you've got a push, you could then stab. Um, but if you stab, you don't, you don't push, so you can't make another one. Yeah, I got to disinstall out of it anyway, yeah, that's true. Multi-block gives you two, yeah. Yeah, you can push, then stab, or push, then block, but you can't stab, then anything else. You can only ever make one stab from a frenzy, but you can, you could choose to push then stab, um, if you wanted. I guess because you could, you could, you could, uh, you could like do a two DB, roll double skulls, re-roll it into pushes, and then think, fuck this, I'm not going to make another block, and then stab couldn't. You? It's un you'd be unlikely to do a push then stab. <laughs> yeah. I'm not surprised. I mean, there's threads about bloody if you can if you can fucking hypno gaze from prone, isn't there? Which there shouldn't have been any threads about that. Should have just been. Obviously not. Should have been the answer. But I mean, that's clear. That this is at least at least the you could be a pedantic dickhead about v gazing from prone, but this is just black and white. It's instead of making a block. You need a square to make a block. That's it. No, gazing from prone. You can hypno-gaze from prone scumbag street. So, for example, <laughs> if you don't want to get claw pommed, then you could gaze from prone and then do something. From June twenty seventeen. <laughs> really is on That's a feature, not a bug. Oh, okay then. It's still bad either way, whether whether he knew he was exploiting a bug or whether he just didn't know the rules of stab. Either way, it's frustrating from that, from doing that. He's rolled pretty well on the stabs, hasn't he? Yeah, it was a it was a house rule, wasn't it?
Oh, well, three guys done. That's a... <laughs> that seems fair. <laughs> Danger zone. Death zone. Yeah, the stabs should only be should only be undead and necro, shouldn't they? Probably non hitting. Yeah, the real time one, yeah. <laughs> I play on Xbox. <laughs> Yeah, it is just a, a consequence because, like, you don't have to click declare passes and handoffs and stuff to you at the start of your move. So, I mean, that's all. Okay. <laughs> I don't really don't think it makes that much difference. Honestly, like, while it is technically a bug and stuff or not prop working properly, I think it's fair enough. You know, who cares about declaring an action? It's not the end of the world, is it? Like, it's, it's kind of important in tabletop because you can have an idea and then change your mind or whatever and people can lose track and everything. But realistically, it just doesn't matter, does it? You shouldn't have to. No idea, keep crawling. Maybe there's, like, one guy at Focus or Cyanide who, like, just fucking likes it. Likes the idea of that fucking game they did, Chaos League, and just, just wants it to work at all costs. <laughs> Yeah, the missing declaration is wrong, but it doesn't matter, does it, Jellio? It doesn't matter. That's the thing. The thing about the declaring them actions, it doesn't fucking matter. No one fucking cares, and it doesn't fucking matter, so it's all right. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> No, I mean that now the turn counter is obviously good that you don't have to do that, but the 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 fact that you get punished for forgetting is brutal. One of the best rules of Blood Bowl. Wait, what? Ah, oh, double wand. Super. So like, why didn't I get to use pro? Because it was a double wand. Yes, Leo's are you should move them one square. You shouldn't be a well. Okay, this is what it is, Leo's. All right, I'll tell you exactly how it how it how it is. Right, what you should do if you're gonna throw a let's say you've got an ogre and you're gonna throw a halfling, right? I don't know how that would work. Puggy. What you should well no. If you've got a team of ogres, if you've got an ogre team, right, and you've got five ogres, then um, what you should do is, and you're gonna throw a snotling, you should declare a pass action, and then pass throw a goblin. But in Blood Bowl 2 and Blood Bowl 1, presumably, you, di you don't have to declare the action. So what you should do is move a square, see if you bonehead, and if you don't bonehead, then go back and do the pass. Whereas if you were to just activate and try and do the pass without moving and bonehead, then you can't try another pass, because you can only declare one pass action a turn. So it's it's a way by moving the square. It's a way to make sure you can uh, you don't lose your pass action. Yeah, this stab is outrageous, isn't it? Absolutely fucking out. I mean, it's more than fifty percent. No, it's not, is it? It's eight. He's got to roll eight, so it's less than fifty percent. He's still just getting it every time. Yeah, the clearing is yeah. I disagree about, uh, what's it called, a legal procedure, by the way. Um, who is it? Corner, I'm not an official race, though. Enough official doesn't mean fuck all when it, when it comes to Games Workshop. Um, keep Crom. Is it Keep Crom? A legal procedure is the best thing in the history of the tabletop game. Because without it... Because without, without, um, without a legal procedure, nobody fucking knows what turn it is. <laughs> so you need it in tabletop, but obviously online you don't need it because the turns are 
kept for you. It's a bloodthirster. It's a tiny little bloodthirster. A tiny little bloodthirster who's only strength six. A uh, fan favorite. Yes. Yeah, it's crazy that, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I know him. Using OFR. It's such a brilliant... It's not it's such a gutty thing. It's just such a brilliant forcing people to actually track the game state. Both coaches have to track the game state. It's a brilliant fucking rule. Brilliant rule. And without it, it's just absolute horse shit. I've played fucking really good coaches who haven't had to think about moving their turn. And they, they don't know what turn it is. They don't care. And I've got to think about it all the time. And they don't have to think about it. It's fucking absolute bullshit. Absolute fucking bullshit when people don't do it. And it counts as your reroll for the turn as well. If you don't move it, you, you, you lose a reroll and it counts as your reroll for the turn. And then, how, how it used to be was, if you don't have rerolls, you just, you just don't get your turn. Um, and then they change that to, if you've got no rerolls left, your opponent gets a reroll. Which is, uh, which is alright. Yeah, then you're lucky if you've played with people who keep track. Exactly, Scumbag Street. I, I played one person in a tournament and we both agreed to use it and it was the best game that I had. If you're called on it, then you're like, then you stop fucking, then you stop fucking doing it, don't you? But, I mean, I've, I've been called on it once. Once in my life have I been called on a legal procedure. And that was because my coat uh, knocked it off, knocked it off the board. I've never, I've never forgotten. But other people, you know, if they forget, then they don't forget again. <laughs> and then it's all right, isn't it? They forget once and then you know what turn it is. I, I, my, someone tried to cheat my mate in a tournament because neither of them were moving the turn, turn markers. And now they don't know whether it's turn fucking six or seven or eight. And I was watching and I said, it's fucking turn seven, you little cheaty bastard. To the guy who, you know, may or may not have been trying to cheat. But, um, there you go. Yeah, the original, the original rule was, was too much, for sure. For sure, making making you lose your turn was obviously over the top, but the idea of it was really good to make fucking sure people track the turns. Very good. Right, everyone's on the ground. That was a good game, wasn't it? At least he only wins eight times out of nine. Yeah, I think it was a bit of a dicing. As it happened, the stab didn't make any difference, did it really? Probably the Zara stab. Nah, it did make me lose my rerolls. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Arrested Development. Yeah, it keeps people honest. It keeps people honest. And people have to be fucking kept honest. <laughs> Because you can get two people who just who just don't move the counter. If, they, if two people don't care about moving the counter, not because they're trying to cheat, just because they just don't care that much. Wow, only six AV breaks, and that included biting myself. <laughs> um, so I guess my, my bloodlust was good. Yeah, my bloodlust was insane. <laughs> insane bloodlust. But, um... It still felt shitty. I don't know. I guess it just played shit. Didn't get the key dice rolls, I guess. I guess I should have GFI'd to put more pressure on that turn. Guess I should have made those that double GFI that I thought about making. But didn't, because I didn't know which turn it was. 
Oh yeah, the stabs. Yeah, that's a good point, isn't it? Let's see what the uh, let's see what his forty-two percent stabs were. That's a that's a good idea. Oh, stab might not be on though. Oh, it is sixty percent instead of forty. Wasn't that good, was it? There's only two extra ones over the course of the match. Well within, well within reasonable limits. He did well to get ten stabs out of it, though, didn't he? Or I did badly to let him stab me ten times. His GFIs were very nice. Twenty-six, thirty, thirty-six. So he had nice, very nice dice. But I didn't know. I didn't like massively outplay him and get robbed by the dice, did I? It was just, it was just fucking. Just didn't go well. <laughs> I, I guess I should have double GFI and get on the ball that turn, or maybe try to gaze to get the wrestler on the ball or something. Because that 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 was the key turn, wasn't it? And I was I was played a bit too safe. That that would be my analysis of that match. I um, mean, it is vampires, yeah, and they are shit. So <laughs> thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.